So the first thing I am going to do with this is going to take a foundation that's just a little tanner than me. So this is the foundation I use when I get a tan, like if I go to the beach and lay out for a couple of hours or if I'm at the pool or even a theme park, I can get pretty tan on my shoulders. So sometimes I like to have a foundation that's two shades tanner than me, just like a lot of other people do whenever they self tan. Yeah. This is the foundation I use and it's the Maybelline one and I'm just going to place a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes because Salma Hayek, she had, she didn't look like she was caked with makeup. She looked like her skin was glowing. It looked really natural. She is so gorgeous. I love Salma Hayek. So the moment someone requested this, I was excited to jump on it. So I'm not, now going to just pat a little bit of my face down like, you know, in my under eyes where I put concealer in and some of the key areas that get a little too shiny for me. I love this look. I felt like this, she looked like my mom when my mom was really young. So I just have like this soft spot for Salma Hayek. If you guys didn't know, I am half Hispanic. My mom is Mexican and uh, we're half Irish. So my dad is of Irish descent. So that's where my, what my ethnicity is. I get that question asked a lot. But anyways, I am using this gilded, um, bronzer right here from Urban Decay because it does have sparkly particles in it and I felt like that was perfect for this look because like I said she had this very nice glow to her very just glowing from within that type of look so I wanted to do the same thing now I'm going to use a chocolate bar palette and I'm just taking this light sienna shade right here and I'm going to place this on my lower lash line this is going to be one of the only shades we use this is a very natural effortless look they, fo they focus that a lot on Salma Hayek I mean she's just a natural beauty so we want to keep that like effortless makeup look then like I said we're gonna coat the entire lid with this shade and make sure that it's nice and blended but this isn't a picture perfect type of makeup look it's very easy to achieve and natural and everyday so also do that on the same eye yeah like I said she reminds me a lot of my mom so I do have a soft spot for her and I love her movies and her accent and everything she's just beautiful so you just want to make sure that you still blend out the eyeshadow cover those veins in your eyes if you have any like me or you can use MAC Painterly Paint Pot or anything like that. So now with a darker brown eyeshadow I'm going to use this for my upper lash line to kind of smoke that out a bit. So that is what I'm doing. This is going to create the effect of fuller lashes but also not be too overbearing like using an eyeliner. It's just very natural. I love this look actually. It's just so easy to wear every single day. Like if I'm going to work or going to school and I want to have a really low maintenance look or if you're on vacation at the beach and you want to wear makeup. So if you want to wear a little BB cream, I feel like this look is really nice, especially if you're doing those big beachy Salma Hayek type of waves. I had to wear a wig because my hair is red and I would not be grasping those Salma Hayek vibes at all. But yeah, make sure you also run a little bit of that eyeshadow on your lower lash, lash line as well. And then we're going to curl our lashes. I initially was going to stop at lashes, but then I realized that Salma Hayek has very big wide open eyes so what I do is I'm going to take a little bit of white eyeliner or white eyeshadow and place it on my waterline but first I'm going to put some gold dust and this is just a cream highlight stick highlighter and I'm going to place it on the areas where the sunlight naturally beams like the temples a little bit in the uh, between your bridge of your nose a little bit on my chin and not on my cheekbone but a little bit on my cheek so it looks like nat a natural type of glow like it's just natural and now we are moving on to the putting the white eyeliner for opened eyes I was going to skip the step but her eyes are more bright so we wanted to include that and now she does have a nude lip in the movie and then like a brownish lip so I just took a little bit of Max Hue and rubbed it in like crazy and then that's the first nudish lip. I didn't really like this lip. I didn't feel like it was 
like the movie that much so I'm going to show you what it would be like with a darker lipstick. So this is Max Persistence and it's just a very um, 90s type of brownish lipstick. I grab for this all the time. This is one of my go-to shades on the daily and I felt like once I put this lipstick on it was very Salma Hayek in this movie. I don't want to mess up the title. I do know Spanish, but I'm not like the best Spanish speaker. But I hope you guys enjoy this look. Comment below which movie or celebrity looks you want me to recreate next. And I'll see you in my next makeup tutorial. Alright guys, bye. <laughs>